Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. The bottom line in the game. Look, y'all. I know we talk about a lot of stuff. We, we talk about having a mouthpiece. We talk about whether or not looks matter. We talk about style, being cool, all that stuff. Look, the bottom line is... When you butt naked with that woman, you got to bring it. You got to have that sex game got to be on point. And in fact, that's really the most important thing. Yeah, it's the most important. I know some people try to lie to themselves, say, well, other things are important. That's because you ain't had no raw butt naked sex. Look, one of the biggest, if, if you really sit down and talk with women. Now, I know a lot of dudes say, don't listen to what women say. Don't listen to what they say publicly, but if you can get cool with some women, and some of these women can be like some raw tucking cousins or something, or friends, somebody who just gonna tell you some raw stuff. You get them nice and comfortable. The biggest complaint of most women out here is they not getting any good dick. Yeah, I'm gonna be raw about it. Seriously, some shoot, some are bold about it. They, they've written articles about it. I mean... <laughs> They just like, that's why a lot of them going crazy and stuff. They just, they just need some good good. But seriously, though, that's the bottom line in the game. You know, I remember I attended this seminar uh, maybe roughly a year ago, I think. Was it a year? Yeah, roughly a year ago I attended this seminar, right? And this brother was a tantrum master. But his seminar was on how to deal with multiple women, right? And even though he was a tantrum master, he didn't really get all that deep. In fact, he was talking about a lot of other stuff. That he was just talking really some old street game and stuff. But one of the things he said was a man has to be healthy because, you know, the main thing is about sex. The main thing is about sex. You know, it's, you know, and it, it's kind of funny to me. Well, it's not funny. It's, it's just how it is. You know, you'll get groups of men, they're sitting around and they're trying to figure out why a particular woman didn't pick them and all of that mess. A lot of times she just didn't, she wasn't turned on sexually by you. And I, this isn't new. I've said this in Nice Guys and Players. You know, I did a whole chapter on sexual chemistry, but only a few people actually quote from the chapter. You know, I said the only difference between a nice guy and a player is sex. Because if a nice guy was perceived as good as sex, they'd be a Mr. Right. Because, in fact, that's why a lot of women had bought nice guys and players. Because I said, hey, I told them straight up. I said, you want that nice guy, but you shoot, you want you want what the player brings. And that's what the player brings is sex. Even when a woman is choosing a man, she is choosing him based on what she believes his sexual uh, prowess is. What she believes, I mean, ultimately she don't know, but she's trying to get a clue. You know, she's looking at how he's carrying himself, how he's looking at her, um, you know, whether they're physically compatible. And I know a lot of guys think, well, yeah, if I go in there and I just talk to her and stuff, and I'm like, it don't mean anything. That's That's really, really, when you get down to it, how women are able to make a quick decision about a man. Basically, they they looking for that tingle. You know, they they looking to see if they feel that tingle right there. Now, you know, of course we can say, well, some dudes don't have it like that and maybe they should give a dude a chance. But, you know, when they meeting a dude on the street on some quick situation, they they really can't they really can. Now it's different if they have a chance to get to know the man. And it can be that slow build up. That's a beautiful thing. But even then, even in that situation, it still comes down to sex. Now, one of the things I do when I um, coach privately and also on my uh, private site, a lot of stuff is in, a lot of it deals with sex and really getting your sexual energy up, getting your sexual presence up. You know, my, you know, a recent uh, purchase video about developing that sexual magnetism. You know, really, three of my books, because the fourth book, uh, 
a player's eyes, that's just observations. And even then, I, you know, I, I touch on the issue. But the first three books are about building up your sexual energy. That's why I, I spend so much time talking about the body. Because you have to physically be able to have stamina. That's the main thing. That's the biggest complaint women have with men. So when they're looking at a man, they're looking they like, all right, does he look like he can last? And seriously, they're looking at it. So if you you walking along and you exert yourself a little bit, you breathing hard, they're thinking, mm, I don't know. You know they're thinking if they're going to be comfortable with you. And this isn't new stuff. I've been saying this. But what I'm seeing is a lot of guys ain't getting it. Or they don't know it or they knew and they haven't heard all the videos or something. They not getting it. But I'm, I'm, I, you know what, this is one of those things. I probably have to do a video like this once a month at least. Especially for like any new subscribers uh, who think I'm going to give them some trick. There's no tricks. You know, that woman needs to look at you and feel like, okay, this dude, this dude can bring it. He'll be good in bed. You know, they need to look at, a woman need to look at a man and just be comfortable with the idea of seeing him naked. You know, and, you know, like, I, and I even uh, pointed this out in, um, I said this in Nice Guys and Players about the face. See, one of the things people think, well, if you're just, you know, if you're just good looking and all of that, but that that's a part of it. But if you think about it, if you really look at the, take an honest to goodness look at the men who are getting multiple women. Not a man who's getting a woman. Because quite frankly, regardless who the man is, most men, overwhelming majority of men can get a woman for sex. Now the quality of that sex is a different thing. It's an issue. But the thing you really have to look at to get an idea of women uh, chasing. If you really want to get an idea, look at look at take an honest look at those guys. Those guys are not the fashion models, you know. Those guys, you know, they got decent bodies. You know, some of them don't have a mouthpiece, but. Women looking at him and thinking, sexy. That's, that's Mr. Goodbar's thing. It goes really against what people have in the media and what a lot of people teach. And even what some of what I teach in a way, and I'm going to say this why I say this in a way, right? My thing is if a guy's not there, he needs to do these other things to get to that point because a lot of this happens in stages, a lot of this happens in the state. Sometimes you, you still got to go through the progressions. You can't go from zero to hero just like that. If somebody tells you that, they're lying, they're taking your money. But you got to do the work. But if you look at the guys who, through their life experiences, they got women like crazy, it's always the sex thing. It's always the sex thing. And if you look at them, average-looking dudes. Now, here's the thing with that average-looking thing. When the woman looks at them, though, oh, not very attractive to the women. Why? Because the dude looks sexy to them. Now, if a man looks sexy to a woman, if a man looks sexy to a woman, even if he's average looking, he's going to look better to them no matter what. That's the whole thing. That's the thing you got to get. That's the thing you have to deal with. You know, so that's why, you know, a lot of my stuff... It's about dealing that, uh, developing that sexual side. You know, not just a physical thing, but just being comfortable with it. And then being able to project it out, which is, well, really easy. So, you know, but that's the bottom line in the game. All that other stuff, which I see a lot of people focus on. You know, they say, well, if I get a bunch of money, or if I develop this mouthpiece. Nah, <laughs> Work on that stroke. Every time you get with that, get with a woman. Work on bringing her pleasure. Because then that woman you practicing with or you doing something there with, the next woman, hey, you're a little bit better. And trust me. Trust me. Trust me on this. Women can kind of look at a man and tell whether or not he's getting some. You know, and that's one of those secrets that they, they keep. 
But they can get a general feel. They can look at a man and say, you know what, that dude need a girlfriend. They can feel it. They they can feel it. Just seriously. They they can feel it. And that's what they check. They checking for. You know? They checking for that energy, that like sexual confidence. Cause it's a bit shit. I'll tell you what. If you really watch it, if you really attuned enough, you can see a difference in say a Mr. Goodbar type who got women on lock, you know, this dude having sex with two or three different women a day. And then some nice guy type who, you know, he, he'll be grateful for just a good hug. You see this, you know, but that's the whole thing. They realize the point of the game, the sex thing. In fact, if, even if you really, if you look further at the men who are actually getting it like that, a lot of them don't even, they don't even know any, what people consider game concepts, a lot of them don't know it. I mean, they know what they know, but if you if you say, well, you have looks, money, and status, and, you know, you got some minimum wage dude nobody know about, you know, who looks just a step up from Quasimodo, they, they looking at you like, yeah, right, right? Because, you know, they, they developed something else. And, and just to be clear, yeah, you're going to get some good-looking dudes got that game, too. So, But the bottom line, what they all share, they share that sexual presence that's turning a woman on. And they're comfortable with it. Now, I kind of got into it a little bit on my um, subscription site, why that is, but... Uh, I'll let that brotherhood right there uh, keep that little secret. So anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.